talked about this. We held a couple outings and we were busy for the entire period. And we crushed it. We caught huge fish. We caught a lot of fish. And the lake set up exactly like we talked about. You are more likely to catch you know, a fish over 10 or over 15 or over 20 pounds because we are targeting the Pilot Peak strain of Lahontan cutthroat trout. I'm here today to talk a little more about the lake and the seasons and really how the lake has continued to change over the last 15 years and how important it is for anglers to understand uh, how these changes have affected um, the fishing, the seasons, and you know, just about everything we know about the lake. And last year, I put out a video for the first time really explaining um, how much the lake has changed over the last 10 or 15 years. We've got another year under our belt now and the information that uh, you know we shared last year came true for sure. There's a whole lot more early season and late season fishing at Pyramid Lake these days. It used to be where 80% of our business came in the winter months and you know, we've stood on ladders in freezing cold temperatures. Don't check the weather. Just go outside and deal with it. Be a man. <laughs> when I was at the fly fishing show in Pleasanton, California last February, God, I just kept hearing people, you know, talk about um, coming to the lake and how excited they were. And it's fantastic. And what I kept hearing are people talking about how the lake fished 15 years ago. And 15 years ago in March and April, you could show up to the lake and there'd be thousands and thousands of fish swimming around the hatchery. The tribe has changed the way that they run the hatchery in March and April and it's just not like that anymore. 15 years ago, the dominant species of cutthroat trout in the lake was the Summit Lake strain. And those fish in March and April showed up in huge numbers into shallow water to spawn. It was the way to fish the lake for 30, 40 years was to follow these uh, Summit Lake strain cutthroat trout around the lake and fish for them in you know, the time of year that they were available to us. They're not stocking anywhere near as many as they used to. They're putting them in. They're a lot smaller. And uh, you know these huge Pilot Peak strain Cutthroat trout are eating them. This fiscal year, the most important time to be at Pyramid Lake is the first two weeks of October. Last October, we talked about this. We held a couple outings and we were busy for the entire period. And we crushed it. We caught huge fish. We caught a lot of fish. And the lake set up exactly like we talked about. We're doing it again this October. Our guide service has room to take people fishing and show them the lake and show them what we've been talking about for the last few years. And we're having two, you know, public outings again. The first two weekends of October, we have float tube pontoon boat kayak outings where we show people uh, how we've been fishing the lake the last few years and how we're still managing to catch so many big fish. And I highly recommend if you are a Pyramid Lake angler and you have been struggling, that you come and fish with us in one of our outings and learn what we're doing. It gets better every year, it seems. We're simply just out there having a blast. You know, it's 60, 70, 80 degrees outside. We're camping on the beach. We're having big barbecues. You know, we're laughing and it's nice out. And uh, you know, what a change from, from fishing the lake in 25 degree weather when your guides are freezing up. And you know, we still gotta go do that as well come this winter. Um, but man, it's really nice just to be out at the lake. And 
These fish fight so hard when the water's warmer. You know, and when we get out there on October 1st, the surface water temperature is going to be, you know, in the 60s somewhere. Um, the, the fish are going to be happy and healthy, and they're going to pull like crazy, just like they did in June, and just like they did last October. And you can get a six or seven pound fish on, which in October and June is the average, or maybe even bigger. But you get a six pound fish on, and you think you got a 12 pound fish on, because they pull hard. They're coming off a really warm water summer. They're active. They're happy that the water's cooling down and they're chasing bait. The grabs are fierce and it's, it's, it's just amazing. A couple years ago, I sat down with, you know, my guides and we completely changed our business plan. You know, we were always working around the wintertime at Pyramid Lake. And now that we have this, you know, second season, you know, October and June, you know, we've had to really look at what we're doing those months as well and make ourselves available, you know, to also be at Pyramid. The fishing is more even throughout the season now. You are more likely to catch, you know, a fish over 10 or over 15 or over 20 pounds um, in October and June because we are targeting the Pilot Peak strain of Lahontan cutthroat trout. And October and June is when they are more available, you know, to us as fly fishermen. Our group trips, our larger outings, we are moving all of them out of, you know, that February, March, and April window into October and June. It's more important these days in March and April to be mobile and be able to move around the lake, uh, you know, and chase the conditions because the fish are not stacked up around the nets like they used to be anymore. We sat down and we worked up a plan and, and this is what we came up with. So we're still guiding all nine months that the lake is open. Um, we're just moving some of our uh, larger trips to October and June. And if you have not experienced Pyramid Lake in the early season and late season, and you are a Pyramid Lake angler, you need to refocus what you're doing and give us a call and come out, spend some time with one of our guides or on one of our outings. Um, and you'll be surprised. It'll open your eyes to what a fantastic fishery pyramid, um, you know, continues to be. And we just have to, we just have to follow the conditions. And um, that's about it. <laughs>